Victor grinned, then winced as Martha whipped his white racing scarf from about his neck. You an autocar enthusiast yourself? Used to be. I'm the doctor. Victor's eyes turned back to Martha as she wrapped the scarf around his wounded hand. And you're his nurse, eh, Miss Jones? Training to be a doctor, actually, she agreed. Victor smiled. Lady doctor, eh? Well, I dare say they do things differently where you're from. The doctor pulled a cover from the back seats to reveal a collection of shotguns. You've got some heavy-duty hunting gear here. That's because I'm here for some heavy-duty hunting, Victor agreed. The legs will be alive with hunters, I should think. The doctor frowned. Hang on a minute. Lakes? You mean the Lake District? Victor looked at him and turned back to Martha. Are you sure you're not his nurse? Miss Jones is an ambassador for the distant land of Fredonia, the doctor announced. I'm escorting her. Fredonia? Is that one of ours? Hang about, boomed the doctor. Lake's alive with hunters. He reached into the back of the car and hefted a fearsome-looking weapon. You've got an elephant gun. Elephants in the Lake District? Bigger game than that, said Victor, reaching under the guns and pulling out a newspaper. I thought the whole world had heard of the Beast of Westmoreland. Martha took the paper and checked the date. September 16th, 1909. She read the headline. Beast of Westmoreland found dead. Battered prehistoric killer washed up on lakefront. So you can read as well as nurse, said Victor, apparently genuinely impressed. Martha shot him a look. And if I couldn't, there's always the artist impression. Looks like a dinosaur or something. Let me see. The doctor snatched the paper from her hands. So why all the artillery? Asked Martha. Taking this lot to hunt a dead monster seems like overkill. Friend of mine is the expert naturalist brought in to study the brute. Lord Hailston. He says there's serious injury to its head. Victor tapped the side of his nose. Thinks perhaps it had a tussle with a mate. There's another thing like that roaming about, said Martha. The doctor had been studying the paper. Now he slung it in the back of the car. Victor, can you give us a lift? I want to see this dead monster. The beast pegged out beside the lake at Templewell. We can detour on the way to Goldspur. What's Goldspur? Martha queried. Lord Hailston's estate. Base of operations for the hunting party, Victor explained. Just a moment. Where's your luggage? Well, we had a bit of an accident ourselves, said the doctor. Several, Martha put in. We lost everything and we've been walking all day. Then a lift you shall have, Victor declared. One good turn deserves another. What? He headed for the driver's seat, but the doctor was already sat there with an innocent smile. I wouldn't dream of making...